So now let's find the potential outside of the sphere. Now we know that the potential inside of the sphere, because we just found that, because we just found the a constants, but using this we can actually deduce the b constants so we can avoid having to go through all the math again. And then we know that's true, because, and we can find b using a because uh, both these functions are continuous, so they must meet at some point to form a larger continuous hull. So once they, once both these functions meet at the surface of the sphere, both of these expressions must be equal so that they form a bigger continuous hull. So using that piece of information, we can actually deduce what the b terms should be. So on the border, so right when the the two functions meet on the surface of the sphere. So this is the, the case inside of the sphere. And this one is for outside of the sphere. So once they meet on the surface, both of these expressions must be equal, right? Because by comparing co coefficients, we know that a or all l is equal to bl divided by rl plus 1. That's why bl is equal to r2l plus 1 times al. And then we know that for the a, a constants, we only have a1 and a3, right? So essentially we found b1 and b3, and all the other ones are going to be equal to 0. So same for b, all the other ones are equal to 0. So b1 is equal to, so substituting 1, r to the power of 3 times a1. And a1 is equal to negative 3k over 5r. So negative 3k over 5r. So there we have it, we found a B1 without having to wrestle with all the math we just did before. And so doing the same thing, R is equal to 3, that's going to be 7. And then A3 is equal to 8K over 5, R to the power of 3. And so we get 8K, R to the power of 4 divided by 5. So now we can combine this to form the outside potential. So once again, we know this is true, and now we can substitute the figures in. So apart from b1 and b3, everything else is equal to 0. So we have a b1 r to the power of 2, and then p1 cosine of theta, and then we also have a b3 r to the power of 4, p3 cosine of theta. So b1 is equal to negative 3k r squared divided by 5. And then b3 is equal to 8k r to the power of 4 divided by 5. So once again, let me just group some of the terms together to make it look a bit better. And then you see that this resembles another answer that we just obtained earlier. Oops, sorry about that. So P3 cosine theta. And then K and 5 go away. We have this expression. And there we have it. This is it. This is the potential outside of the sphere.